I have an illustration I want to use today. I need somebody who is very athletic in the prime of their life. He's going to be the representative of humanity. Okay, now, I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but there's a ball up there. Have y'all seen that ball? That ball is, is like the law. The law doesn't have to be mentioned. It doesn't have to be pointed out for us to notice it. I want to see if, if you can get up there and, and, and jump to the law. Now, to give you a little incentive, I'm going to tell you, in the bottom, you see that envelope? Okay, that is the representative of grace. And in that envelope is a $100 bill. Give it your best shot. Jump, right? So he's, he's trying his best. And then all of a sudden, mankind comes along and says, you know what? He needs a little step up. He, he needs some help. And so they'll interpret the law and say, well, hey, if you just keep the Sabbath, if you keep the Sabbath, you'll have a better shot. And so those are all stepping stones. Why don't you come up here on the second step? Or just go the third step. You know why I put that $100 bill in that ball up there? Again, because I wanted you to ask me for help. You want me to help you get that $100 bill? This is also why this, this illustration is imperfect. My son is going to play Jesus. <laughs> He's not Jesus. So Jesus... Bring out the cross of grace so we can get this man his $100 bill. And see, grace grace comes out of nowhere when you least expect it into your life. I could make Alejandro climb that ladder and go get it himself. Instead, I'm going to send my son. And not only because I don't want to get sued, but because this is a better picture of the illustration. This is what God did. He didn't make you die on a cross. He didn't make you climb on the cross and die for your own sins. He sent his son. But I hope that illustration helps you kind of visualize it and picture it. What the law is and what the law isn't, what the law can do and what the law can't, and what grace is, and what, the, what grace can do. And grace is the only hope you have. Grace is the only hope I have. Because we're never going to reach it by ourselves. We're never going to get up there. I don't care how big the stage is and how much you try to jump because the law is a lot higher than that ball. It's impossible without the grace of God.